let's get this pop in first of all i want to thank rude again for sending me all this makeup they're not sponsoring this video um but they send me a bunch of pr which i'm very 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 grateful for the grateful for it is such a monday today this is the mondayest thursday i have experienced in the longest time i'm gonna center myself today i'm gonna play with some makeup and i'm just gonna talk to you guys and that's it i have some products i want to play with why does my voice sound like this <laughs> Face is beat. Let's not talk about the brows. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off the face because we're already here. I want to test out this Blush Crush 9, le what? I wanna use this little app. This looks like an app. Well, on purpose. It's. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to like mimic Candy Crush, but it's a Blush Crush palette. There's nine blushes and or bronzers. Oh, there is literally a shade here called Game On. Game On. High score, level up, gold star, victory, cute, high score. So there's a theme, time's up. Oh, that got deep. I thought there was a bronzer shade in here, but there's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some utter stuff. Utter, <sighs> like a cow. I'm gonna go ahead and contour using my Makeup Geek Beautifully Bare Palette. This contour shade has my heart, fam. It's it's technically a bronzer. It's labeled as a bronzer. I use it to sculpt my cheeks out because it's just like the perfect sculpting shade for me. It really gives me definition, which I love because I've been hitting up Taco Bell weekly. I recently got asked, what's the difference between a sculpting powder and a bronzing powder? Which I should have explained, MB, MB, but a sculpting powder is going to contour your face. And by contour, I mean it's going to chisel out your cheekbones and kind of give you more definition. Sculpting powders tend to be more cool because what they do is they mimic shadow. Shadows are, you know, more on the gray, dark side. That's what a sculpting powder does. Now a bronzing powder, a bronzing powder is always is going to be on the more warm side and what the bronzing powder is going to do is it's going to mimic and bring back warmth onto your face it's literally just going to make you look a little bit more tan it's going to make you look more bronzed and it's just going to return like some life into your face does bronzer add some definition a little but not nearly as much as a sculpting slash contour powder would I really want to use Level Up. I pick you. Also, shout out to the mirror in this palette. She's a builder, pero like, she's cute. I like a blush I can build up because I like to be in control. I, I don't like at the first touch of my blush brush to my skin to be like, wow, pigment. Because I'd much rather build up than have to take off. Super pretty. I like this. For highlight, I am gonna go into my Brain Freeze palette by Jeffree Star, one of the best. I'm gonna go ahead and mix Gold Breaker and Statuesque. How I like to highlight is um, people ask me all the time, like how, how do you highlight? Usually what I like to do is, so I like to make a C around my eye like this, you know? Lips, what is this? Makeup with an attitude? We get it, <laughs> what a pucker. What? That's actually, that's really cute. Okay, so this is the Rude High Shine Pigmented Lip Lacquer. What a pucker. That's cute. I get it. We get it. This is in the shade Son of a Beach. That sounds like the way my mom tries to cuss in English. Son of a Beach. That's my mom for you. This is a cute color, not my favorite color on me. On other people, I love shades like this. Personally on me, I'm not the biggest fan and I'm incredibly picky. I am gonna try it out. If I don't like it, I will take it off. not bad really creamy super comfortable and they feel like they feel very hydrating so i'm not gonna throw any complaints at all because i don't got any oh so rude was kind enough to send over another palette last time i tried out rude eyeshadows it was a whole look guys and i actually really do like rude eyeshadows i think they're really nice i think they're pigmented blendable they're cute i personally don't think they're rude at all say la vie so this is their Say La Vie. It's our secret 30 color eyeshadow. That's what I have on my tweeters. 
I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've already opened this eyeshadow palette and kind of took a gander because I could not resist. I haven't tried it, swatched it, anything like that. No, 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 no. I waited for you guys for that one, but I did open it already and she's a looker, you guys. Irala. Like, she's cute. I really, really like it. We're gonna go ahead and do some swatchy swatches. I'm gonna grab Surer. Surer. Not bad. Champ de Fleurs. Ooh, that one's cute. Soleil. Ooh, this one's a little chunky, but she's cute. LA Party. Oh, wow. Okay, so LA Party's definitely my fave. Don't know what type of look I'm gonna do, but surprise, surprise, I never do. We are going to, we're just gonna have fun with it, okay? We have fun here. I'm gonna grab Au Revoir. gonna go on to hunt haunty haunty did you guys spell hottie wrong now we're gonna go in with chocolate chad chad chocolate chat cha shot ch chode nope 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 This is what happens when I creep out of my comfort zone, guys. I turn into a flaming hot slore. Ple pledge? Like the furniture stuff? Yo. I fucks with this palette heavy though. Aside from like everything, like maybe this isn't like the most universal look ever, but aside from all that, like these eyeshadows, they work really well. Again, really pigmented, really blendable. I like it, I'm not mad at it. I am gonna go ahead and pop on these lashes. I'm gonna do that off camera. Welp, personally, I've never felt cuter. Um, 